Hey Glow Glamours, it's your girl Glow and I'm here today and today is RLW which means Recreate Look Wednesday and I'm so excited about my recreated look today because I get to use the newest palette that I purchased which is um, the Zulu by Juvia's Place. One second, I am getting a phone call and I don't know why. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So what, like I was saying, I'm excited to do this look today because I will be using the newest palette that I purchased, which would be the Zulu by Juvia's Place. And um, it's this palette that has all these nine beautiful colors. I did a tutorial on the swatches yesterday. So if you missed that, um, the video is on... Um, the group's timeline and the page timeline and you could just catch up on that so there's a lot of recreated looks that i could have chose from today but um i love 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 you know you know pinkish type rose gold type of um eyeshadow and um this color right here I know it looks brownish, but it comes off as a um, rose gold type of pinkish color. So I'm going to be using this color and this color today. And that's going to complete my um, recreate look. So hopefully I hit it on the nose. Hey, Rachel, thanks for tuning in. I was just jabbing off. Um, I don't like my eyebrows today. I don't know what was going on with them. They weren't working with me. So, I got them to do a little something. So, I'm going to start off by putting the Studio Pro BH Cosmetic Concealer. And as you guys know, I went in actually with this darker one to conceal my eyebrows so that it's not leaving that highlight around my eyebrows when I take um the picture I I hate that so I'm gonna start off by concealing my eyelid hey charity thank you Rachel I'm just going to sort this all out. You know what's funny? I don't have a mirror in front of me. So hopefully, <clears throat> excuse me, I can go off of just looking in this camera. So the Zulu palette does not have a transition color. So I'm going to dip into the nudes by Maybelline, which looks like this. Um, and I'm going to go in with um, this, um, let's see, I'm going to go in with this lighter shade right here, just for a transition shade. I mean, I don't really have to use a transition shade, but that's just me, you know? What's the big announcement, Charity? Oh, yours is supposed is coming on Friday. Nice. So that would be awesome, um, Rachel. And then, you know, you do a tutorial on it, and then one of these weeks we'll link up and we'll do a recreate look from that palette, as well as the summer loving palette, whichever palette you want to do a recreate look with me together. It's all good. Okay. So, we are going to dip into this beauty, beauty palette. And, um, where is, I need a blending brush. Hubby's home. 
Okay, so we are going to dip, dip it low, dip it up low. Look, I'm not even saying the right words to the song. Oh, congrats, Charity. Add me to it. I had no idea. So I'm going to take this brown shade right here. And we just go plop this right here. And work it over. And look at me, so scared to pick up color on the brush. Sucks when you can't see without a mirror. Does it look brown or does it look orangey to you guys? Because when she used this color, it looks so brown on her. I kind of feel like I'm getting an orange vibe. Kind of both. I don't know why it's coming out orangey. That's not right. It came out straight brown on her. So now I'm a little... Now I'm a little confused. One second, you guys. Yeah, I don't know why it's looking orange. All right, we're just going to go with the flow. And you guys do see that it shows brown. And on my swatch, my swatch, um, it gave me brown. So I don't know why it's coming out orange. Maybe it's because of that transition shade. I'm back, you guys. I'm sorry. I had to go um, take care of something real quick. But like I was saying, I did the swatch, the swatches, squatches. I did the swatches yesterday and it came out brown. So, like I was saying, maybe it's coming out orangey because, um, for one, maybe because um, I put that transition shade. She didn't put on a transition shade when she did these colors. Or it could just be because we're two different skin tones, you know. Um, I'm dark. She's white. <laughs> so, maybe that's. Another reason, it's just that it is is coming out a little different. But I'm just gonna go with the flow. Oh, okay, well just let just alert me when you go live because after this I will be eating and um watching a movie with the hubs but just um just alert me and i'll dip in and out charity i mean it's a pretty color as it's showing up on me but i was looking for like a more dark brown you know what i mean Should have just went with a multicolor recreate look. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna take this color right here. See how pigmented that is, and we just go plop it to 
just like that. See, it's like a pinkish, goldish, rose goldish under undertones. It's so much going on with this shade. <laughs> how this looks. looks nice. I found my little mirror. Is this a trip how you can use the same colors, but then it just comes out totally different on a person? And would you guys look at this? I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a hint of gold, pink, yellowish. It's a lot going on. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with that BH Cosmetics um, Elf. Elf. Elf and BH are two different types of companies. What am I doing? I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Black Pen Eyeliner. <laughs> Woo! I couldn't get that together to save my soul. There I go, messing up color. See, I like these pins, but then at the same time, you got to be extra careful. Because you can mess up your color. Okay. Okay, we'll do charity and thank you. Now, since you created your group, let me give you some tips. If we are going to share your group, you got to have an introduction of what you're about and what your group's about. You got to set rules for your group, and then you have to have at least a few pictures of your work. Because when people look at your page, those are the things that they are going to look for. Do you agree, Rachel? And I never could get my wing right on this side. Always this side. <laughs> ah, let's see.
the point is always off on this side. Yep, you got to have something so that everyone can go off of, you know. So I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics Stellar Lash Mascara, which is becoming one of my favorites. You guys, I'm still like, dang, it didn't come out brown. Put some of this brown shade under my eyelid and I will be coloring my tear duct with a brown not a black today Yeah, you know what, um, Rachel, I'm actually giving lashes a break because I notice wearing them a lot, they have um, thinned out my eyelashes. And like you said, you're, um, you're losing some. That's exactly what I'm going through right now. So... I'm laying off of them. Another thing I'm going through right now, I got a spider bite on my neck. <sighs> Lucky me, huh? So I'm going to go in with that Black Radiance Cappuccino. Oh, Rachel. Poor baby. I know how you feel, girl. I remember when I had my hysterectomy when I was done. They said I couldn't eat until the next day. Oh, my God. And it pissed me off because my brother came in there eating and then my husband came in there with a fat-ass burrito all in my face. <laughs> I was in too much pain to get up and hit him. I hear you, Charity. And Rachel, would you rather have that problem or would you rather have my um, spider bite? Because my spider bite hurt. That thing is like beaming right now. <laughs> I'm going to put some alcohol on it. I really like this um, foundation, the cappuccino one. 
I felt like the espresso one was too dark for my skin tone, but the um cappuccino works wonders. <laughs> she said neither. <laughs> I feel your pain. I wish I could take it away, Rachel. How's the look coming along, you guys? Like, I'm just so... Look, getting foundation on my gray part is not the best. I'm just so bummed that this didn't come out brown like I wanted it to. Like, I'm going to have to get a <clears throat> baby wipe and wipe that up. But look, it actually looked cool like that. But I'm going to get a baby wipe and wipe that out. Mm -mm. Now I'm going to highlight. Where's my beauty blender for this? Thought I had everything out here. Ah, there we go. And it's dry. Thanks, Rachel. Ugh. Nope, and I'm not going to tell y'all what it smells like. It's just, ugh. It needs to be washed. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oop, peep show. Rachel, did you just see what Charity said? <laughs> she is crazy. There's a third person watching. I don't know who. Say hello. Hi. Thanks for watching, whoever you are. <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in. Don't be scarred. Now I'm going to go into the Juvia's Place, the Saharian Blush Volume 2, which looks like this. And I'm going to go in with no other than Sopa. And Sopa, you don't need a lot because it's already pigmented. Very pigmented. Darn it, hair. <laughs> Now, I am <sighs> got so much junk out here. Where is my shopping duh? Need to get my shopping duh. I feel like my life is dragging. Is it dragging? <laughs> I 
feel like I'm going extra slow today. Oop. I can't whistle, but something came out. Okay, so this is where my tutorial gets a little bit complicated because I was expecting that brown to come out, you know what I'm saying, a certain way, and it didn't. So, Yeah, broadcast interrupted because my Wi-Fi is way over there and I'm in a room. So, it kind of does that when I'm over here. So, sorry for the inconvenience. Um, you know, since the brown didn't show up like it was supposed to show up, I was going to go actually with this gold color. But I don't even know if this would even work for this now. I, th I mean, I think it would because I don't want to do a pink. I don't want to do a red. And then the other color is like a nude. But that looks pinkish. So I think I think the gold works. So I'm just going to go with the gold. And this is um, from the Sephora Midnight Kisses Love Story in the shade 51, which is Festi Festi Festival Lights. <laughs> I can't even read today. So, this is my recreated look. And remember, the recreated look is based off the eyes, not the lip, not the face. Because all she did was do her eyes. She didn't even show her whole face. So, um, this is the finished look. And it's cute. I just wish the brown came out more brownish on me instead of orangey. I will say, even though I'm not liking my eyebrows and not feeling that the brown didn't come out, I will say I am forever feeling my wings. Like, I always have one messed up, the other one messed up, but they look on point. They look on point. And so, I'm happy about that. So, oh, this wig hair just gets on my nerves. But, um, <laughs> thank you, Charity. But this is the finished look, you guys. And thank you, Rachel and Charity, for hanging out with me and chilling with me. I don't know where everybody else is at, but hopefully they'll tune in and watch this later. Because, I mean, it is a pretty look. It just didn't come out exactly as I figured it to come out, but it's a pretty look. Thank you so much, Rachel. So, I'm about to get in here and enjoy the rest of my day. It is... 6.33, kids are in shower by 7, 7.30, in bed by 8, and then I rest, or try to rest, 
And I'll probably, you know, I, I rest in between and then I pop up and I be up like one, two, three in the morning. But, you know, but love you guys and Charity, welcome to the club. Congratulations on starting your group. We are here to help you out. Please ask Rachel or myself any questions, you know, to um, get you started. But first things first, you have to do an introduction. You have to put your pictures up there. You have to make some rules. So that when people log on to your group, they'll see what they're getting and what, you know what I'm saying? So they'll have a little bit of idea of what you are bringing to the table and what you want to happen in your group. So I wish you the best. And Rachel, I love you. I'll be praying for you. And I hope that you will get something in your tummy soon. And you guys have a blessed night and stay warm and um everything because i'm hearing that you guys have some winds out there or it's rainy or whatnot um just stay safe and i'll see you guys tomorrow for another tutorial bye you guys love you guys thank you bye oh and miss charity one more thing girl before i click off you better do that betty boop you better come through on sunday with that betty boop because let me tell you betty boop has been giving me nightmares this is like the hardest event i ever had to do i didn't think betty boop would be hard but she is hard and let me tell you woo, baby <laughs> so you better come through and i hope that everybody else is having fun creating betty boop but girl betty boop is like I'm ready to kick Betty Boop, but just to let you know, girl, I, I can't wait to just share my pictures on Sunday because Miss Betty Boop just gave me nightmares and, and yeah. <laughs> yes, she is, Rachel. Like, Betty is something else. You you would look at her and you'd be like, how hard can it be to, be, to do Betty Boop? But when you are actually doing Betty Boop, you're like... This is not as easy as I thought it would be, but I think we all would do good and it's it's up for a challenge. This is like the hardest challenge ever. <laughs> but okay, Charity, I got you. Better come through. Okay, you guys. Love you guys. Have a blessed night. Bye. <laughs>